Now this is incredible. So here we have my studio. I took away all my monitors, so there's not a whole lot going on here. Nothing cool on the walls, basic YouTube creator studio, but let's change that with the Apple Vision Pro. Let's see what sort of cool creator setup we can create. Alrighty, so now we are inside of Vision Pro and we can still see that uh, everything's looking pretty boring. So let's spice things up, shall we? So the first thing that I need to do is get my workstation going. So hopefully we can see a connect. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a few seconds to pop up from the right angle. All right, so now we have our nice computer monitor going on over here. To be honest, uh, even though it is cool that you can make it super big, I like it from this angle, so I gotta make sure to sit down. And actually, you know what, that kinda looks like a good size. But while I'm working, especially if I'm doing colorist stuff, I like to um, have a, a show or something. So I'm gonna put Apple TV right above it, so that way I can have a cool movie as I'm working. Over here, I wanna get some notes. Because I've been working on one of my first impressions video. So I'm going to press and hold and take that note out. I don't need all my other notes here. And resize this. So while I'm editing, I can have all my notes and everything properly aligned there. And then over here, I'm going to bring up some Safari. Uh, I saw some cool news yesterday that uh, Adobe Lightroom is coming as well as the Firefly AI app. Uh, that's really, really cool. And this way I can just grab any assets I may need for my video. For now, let's put it on the website. So, totally redid my website last month. Wife and I worked really hard on it. Uh, and if you're interested in learning anything about iPhone filmmaking, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut for iPad, and best believe I'll be making a Vision Pro guide at some point, you can check that out all on my website. URL's right there. Uh, but besides that plug, let's see. Uh, music. Music's a good one. The other thing that you can use, you don't have to press the crown each time. You can just say, Siri, open music. And very quickly, she opens it up. I'm going to put this kind of on the back wall. Not everything needs to be huge. And then, what am I missing? You know what? I like a photo of my kid somewhere, so maybe I may scoot this up here. And then, right here, I think I'm going to put a photo. Let's see, that's a good one here. Little family, that's kind of a funny one. Can I make it a little bit smaller even? Nope, <laughs> as small as it goes. So maybe that's too much in the way. Maybe I'm gonna put that on the back wall there just so I can glance up and I'll put this back here. There you go, cute little picture. Let's see, what else can we put over here on this big wall? Just downloaded this. I think this will look pretty cool. YouTube. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna get this done by 8 p.m. tonight. That's gonna be really cool, just to have that. Maybe we'll set up a game if I can leave that behind me on the table here. That was an intense intro. Wow. This is the coolest thing ever. I don't know how to play chess really, so. That game is so cool. So now we gotta figure out some stuff to do over here. I think on this wall, I'm gonna put my email. I'm gonna go my compatible apps and I love Spark as my email. All right, so I think maybe the chess game was a little bit too intensive or something because everything kind of was bugging out. So I had to unplug the cable and reboot the whole system. I like being honest with you guys and showing you the pros and cons of this thing. And it's definitely like pushing the edge of this CPU power stuff. So we just got to rebuild it. And this is all the reason like in my last video when I said save workspaces need to be a thing. 
this is why. Alright, so everything keeps completely bugging out, and as you can see, it reset me again. But since I'm a developer, it looks like we have our first 1.1 beta update. So let's go ahead and do that update. Wow, almost 7 gigs for that update. So hopefully this is good timing and everything is just a bug because I've seen people with a lot of different windows. So I'm going to go ahead, let this update install, and then uh, we'll see if we can finish out the room and have it all work properly without totally bugging out. And while I wait for the update, I'm just going to watch this YouTube video, which by the way, even though there's not a native YouTube app, uh, the quality is incredible because I'm going to compare the DJI LiDAR to the autofocus in a loop. The update's been installed. Hopefully this will be uh, less buggy uh, and my screen recording will last the whole time. So let's time lapse a rebuild of our studio. <laughs> We have it rebuilt. Everything is sticking incredibly. This is so much smoother with the update. Oh my God. Now this is incredible. You could literally just have an empty room, get a chair, and just have the greatest studio experience ever. I feel like I'm not even working on real things. It's just... <laughs> What a time to be alive. Don't forget to get subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video.